Today we discuss Luke Skywalker and Star Wars The Last Jedi. Welcome back everyone, this is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Thank you also very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now, today I want to look at one of my favorite shots in the teaser trailer, and that is when Luke Skywalker and R2 witness a burning temple right in front of them. And we do know it is a burning temple because of the description from the Force Awakens novelization telling us that Luke and R2 are besides a burning temple. So this is most definitely a flashback sequence in The Last Jedi within the teaser trailer. And the fact that Ryan Johnson said in his mind, The Last Jedi, the title, is singular. Before he said that, I always thought it was going to be plural, and I was thinking to myself, all right, maybe we would have, like, a showdown between the Knights of Ren, Kylo Ren, the new generation of Jedi, and Luke Skywalker, and that would explain how the last Jedi would be plural, in a sense, where Luke's Jedi students were the last Jedi at one point in time, and now Luke is also the last Jedi in present time. However, since the title is reportedly singular, according to Ryan Johnson, it really got me to think here, was Luke Skywalker there? Was he there during the whole slaughter of his new generation of Jedi and the burning of the Jedi Temple that perhaps Luke Skywalker and his students developed? Who knows? But I think that a really interesting scene would go as follows, where... Luke Skywalker is far away, searching out for more Jedi lore with Lore Sum Tekka, and Kylo Ren was one of his students at the time, but Luke decides to leave for a short amount of time, let's say a month, right? And he leaves his Jedi students to do their thing and to pretty much, you know, just train and make sure things are going to go very, very well. And Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, is there at the time as well, and he's planning this whole entire plot while Luke is gone. And that's when things go bad, and that's when one night, on a dark and rainy night, you know, Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren come in, all suited up, and they take out the new generation of Jedi, and they burn Luke Skywalker's temple. And it really makes you wonder, did Luke Skywalker feel this from afar? And if he did, I'm sure that he rushed back to his aid in whatever ship he may have had, an X-Wing or an A-Wing or whatever, a new ship. He would rush back to whatever planet that this Jedi Temple was on. And I would come to the assumption that he would step foot on the planet, and then that's when we see that shot in the teaser trailer of Luke Skywalker witnessing the burning temple, because the fact that he sees a burning temple and the way Luke Skywalker is walking as if he's walking down a step, because you do see him like kind of stumble there, it leads me to believe that Luke Skywalker rushed there with R2-D2 in his ship, landed, got out of his ship, rushed to their aid, he was too late, and he just sees the aftermath of what Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren did. However, it could go the other way. Maybe Luke Skywalker is too late for the destruction of the new generation of Jedi and the Burning Temple. However, Kylo Ren and his knights are still there, and we do get a showdown between Luke and Kylo in the past, right? From the past, green lightsaber against cross guard lightsaber, and then that's when we see the big action. Now, we do know that from leaks over in Ireland that Mark Hamill and Adam Driver did engage in a lightsaber battle on Ock 2, which is present time. But would we see a lightsaber duel between uncle and nephew from the past? That's a question open on the table for discussion. So, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Was Luke Skywalker too late, or was he there during all of this terrible, terrible, you know, death and destruction? So... Yeah, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about that, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.